Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a little lesson here on how to calculate VA when it comes to three phase circuits, okay? And it's the same, doesn't matter if it's wired delta, same formula, so don't uh, sweat it too much. But uh, I've got a little example here. Here's a Y connected system. Looks like the phase voltage is 170 volts and the line current is 13 amps, okay? And then I have another system here. It's delta connected. Looks like the phase voltage is 150 and the line current is 21 amps and I want you guys to pause the video here just hit pause okay guys and calculate the line voltage and the phase current for the Y system here and the line voltage and the phase current for the Delta system and once you've calculated that we're gonna see if we can calculate the VA for both these two systems alright so pause now give it a try come right back Okay guys, welcome back. We're gonna calculate that real quick for a second here. Uh, there's my phase voltage guys. And so my question is, what is my line voltage? And I can see that my line voltage is going to be this one plus that one. So it is going to be 170 times root three. All right guys. And so it is going to be 170 times root three. 294.4 volts. Okay guys. And then my current, I got clamped on here, and I can see that if I clamp on here, it's gonna be exactly the same spot, so it's gonna be equal. So I phase is going to be 13 amps. All right, guys? Now, this one here, I have a phase voltage of 150. The question is, if I move my meter to here, what is it gonna be? And it's gonna be the same, right? So this is gonna be 150 volts, all right? And I have a line current of 21. And so is my phase current going to be more or less or equal to 21? And it's going to be less because those two currents are going to come together to equal 21. And since it's going to be less, I'm going to divide by root 3. All right, guys? So 21 divided by root 3 equals. And it comes to 12.12 amps. All right, guys? So we've calculated all that. But the question is, you know, how do I calculate the VA? Well, it's important to understand that whether this is Y or Delta, if I take a look at that, um, transformer, you know, really it's three windings like this, right? And then whether it's Y or Delta doesn't matter because, uh, you know, it's just how the connections are made. But if I take a look at my, uh, on this particular question, this guy here, E phase, is 170 volts, and I phase, guys, is gonna be 13 amps, okay? And if I take a look at this one right here, it's also three windings, right? Happens to be connected delta. But if I look at the phase voltage, uh, E phase, guys, is 150. And uh, I phase is 12, all right? Okay, now if I were to calculate, you know, the VA of a single phase transformer, it would just be 17 times 13, right? And on this one here, it'd be 150. Whoops, that's not 17, that's 170. And on this one, if it was single phase, it would be, you know, the voltage dropping across the winding times the current through the winding, right? That's how, you know, VA is calculated. Well, now I've got three. So the first formula for calculating the VA is uh, it's going to be E phase, guys, and it doesn't matter if it's Y or delta. It's going to be I phase, E phase times I phase, but I got to multiply it by three because there are three, okay? And so the VA, whoops, will always be equal to E phase times I phase times three. That will work 100% of the time. And if I want to calculate it here, it's going to be 170. It's the voltage dropping across that times the current through it times three because there are three times 13 times three, okay, guys? And so... Let's calculate that for a second here. 170 times 13 times three, okay? It's 6,630 VA, okay? 6630 volt amps, okay? Now I could do the exact same calculation right here. The VA will be 150 times 12.12 times three. So let's try that. 150 times 12.12 times 3. 
And this particular one is 5454VA. All right, and that, that's always going to work, guys, but it's not the handiest formula in the world for calculating VA. There's a better one. Well, I don't know if it's better or not, but an alternate formula, which you might find handier, and that's this one right here, which will also always work. It is E line times I line times root 3. Okay, and those two formulas, guys, will always allow you to calculate the VA for any three-phase transformer. Now, which one should you use? Use whichever one you like. But this one here is a lot of times handier, and this is the one that electricians will use mostly because they don't know the phase voltage and the phase current, okay? If you look at a transformer, guys, it's going to say, you know, it's going to have the line voltages on there, and it's going to have, you know, the line current, right? Or... And uh, that's all you care about because you, you, you don't care whether the thing's wired Y or delta or you don't even know sometimes, okay? But what you do know is the line, you know, how much current's the thing drawing and how much, what's the voltage it's outputting, right guys? And so this one here usually is easier because you don't have to worry about whether, you know, it's Y or delta and then calculate the V, you know, the phase values basically, all right guys? So let's try that exact same formula. Uh, but we'll use line values, okay, guys? So here it is, the VA is equal to E line times I line times root three, okay? And on this particular transformer, uh, it's 294.4 times 13 times root three, okay, guys? And I just wanna show you that it's gonna be okay. 294.4 times 13 times root three. Three, six, six, two, nine volt amps. All right, guys. So same. All right, guys. Same with this one. The VA should be E line times I line times root three. Okay, and E line is one fifty. I line is twenty one. Yep. Okay. And uh, times root three, 150 times 21 times root three, five, four, five, six, VA. All right, so same, close enough. Just a little bit of rounding, okay guys? But uh, I want you to notice that both of them are gonna calculate the correct VA use whichever one you like okay and there'll be times where you must use this and times where you must use that so you need to know them both but uh i like that one best all right guys so uh there's going to be one more video guys and it's going to be doing the first you know about three phase transformers because we haven't even talked about that yet right uh, how to figure out what's going on with a three-phase transformer. And that'll be a short one, I promise. Okay, guys? And then you can do your homework, which is going to be unit forehand at one. But uh, come back for the last video.